Hello, welcome to Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. I'm Glenn Vickery and uh, today, um, as I was wandering around, I uh, came across um, some uh, kahakatea and um, it's a uh, New Zealand native tree um, and uh, it's quite an important tree to our culture um, as a food source. So um, let's get into it. Okay. So here's the tree here, okay, um, and let's try and zoom in on some of these berries. Here's the berries there. Okay, so the berries, um, as you can see, they've got, um, uh, it's sort of like an orangey red, red color with a black seed on the, black seed on the top okay um it's uh the red red part of the berry that we uh want to eat okay uh, i'll just see if i can get in a bit closer to see if we can see the green berries it's probably not the best of shots okay so you might be able to see some green berries uh just see a look here if i can get my finger in no it's going to be a bit blurry i'll get my finger over here okay so uh See if I can get my finger in up here. Okay, so here's a green berry there where my finger is. Okay, you can see the green berry, and then obviously the red uh, is the part that we eat. So, see if I can get my uh, finger in here. All right, you want to take the berry off. All right. Okay, so here's our uh, red berry try and get a better better shot of that for you all right here's the red berry with the black seed on the top okay that I've just plucked off all right and it's the red part of the berry that we eat okay so we just can hold it can hold it by the black seed if you wish it doesn't matter okay or you can pull them off all right and we eat the red the red orangey part And they're a little bit juicy with a um, bit of dryness as well. Okay, it's like a juicy, dry feeling. And you can almost taste like a turpentine um, uh, in it as well. But uh, not dis disagreeable as in flavour. So um, you could, I could eat these all day. It's, it's not a problem. Um, you know, uh, it doesn't very take very long. They're only small seeds. All right, I'll try and get one of these uh, green ones. Maybe here. See if we can just break a little part off here. Just to get it. All right, so let's bring it up a little bit closer to the camera. So hopefully we can see it a little bit better. That shot didn't look the greatest. Okay, so there's the um, the berry. Okay, and there's the uh, green one down here. You can probably see those green ones are a little bit better now. There's the young green berries, and a close up of the um, the red berry. Okay, and of course the uh, leaves themselves. Okay, so the leaves themselves. Um, I would say are very similar to um, the uh, uh, what would you call it uh, rimu, the rimu tree. Okay, um, yeah, see some of the berries there. Okay, so the leaves, these leaves here of the kahkatea, are very similar to the uh, rimu. Okay, and um, I suppose when some people are trying to teach themselves. Um, which tree is which um, it can be a little bit difficult to distinguish between the two um, however both both the berries on um, the kahakatea here and the rimu tree are both edible so as far as identifying the tree itself it's not too much of an issue um, and there's, these are the only berries that look like this. 
with a little black seed sticking out of the red fruit okay which is as I said it's the same as the Rimu it's exactly the same however if you are really keen on trying to figure out which tree is which um, the best way that I could probably describe is the kahikatea the kahikatea leaves if you look at this how I'm holding it the leaves are going upwards okay they, they, they branch out and up okay it's like it's alive okay and um, uh, that's that's how the um, kahikatea leaf leaves are the leaves the leaves leaves are okay they, that's how they are whereas the rimu tree the leaves droop down okay they're like that and they just but they don't not even like drooping down and looking sprouting out they just droop down like a willow tree okay it looks like the tree is crying okay like a willow tree all right um, and that's that's how you distinguish the between the two trees and they're always like that okay kahikatea is up and sprouting out like it's trying to catch the light and right is alive and the rimu tree just droops down okay like it's um the leaves are crying okay um and you'll notice notice even after it's been raining that the um on the rimu tree the the the, the water just keeps dripping down coming off the uh, leaves um quite a lot anyway i'll show you the difference between them I'll, I'll shoot the camera there's a there's a rimu couple of rimu trees around me here and a few kahakatea and uh, I'll, I'll i'll shoot the video at that shortly but before we get into that i can another telltale sign for um spotting um kahakatea and there's a like a seed just sitting there just um calling out my name so i'm gonna pop that off and uh have that one as well beautiful these okay you, you um just yummy um, back in the day actually um, Māori used to gather these up okay what you do is put a mat okay or something under the tree or you can get a whatever you want underneath a basket or whatever and shake the leaves okay um, or just get up in the tree and just jump on the branches shake them okay and get all the seeds to fall on the ground and then just pick them up and put them in the basket okay um, and uh, and, and then go for gold all right you need to spend a bit of time doing it but it's well worthwhile anyway uh some telltale sign uh seeds on the ground okay they're a huge telltale sign let's just have a look here all right and i'll see if i can um uh, spot some down here on the ground all right and you'll see them okay let's just have a look around okay there's one there all right um scoot around there's some more there's a couple down there all right just 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 up the, in the middle of the screen there okay um there's another one all right there's another one over there okay so the uh, when you're walking around there's another one okay so when you're walking around the bush um you can uh, you can spot these. Okay, there's there's one of the leaves there as well, but right beside it. Okay, quite a good shot. Okay, so when you're walking around the bush, if you were to spot these things, um, you could the telltale signs. Okay, so we could we could just be going around picking them up off the ground. Okay, and eating them. They're, they're fine. They're still red. Okay, and if they're still red, they're still edible. Okay, red or orange, whatever you want to call them. In fact, the ones that are falling on the ground, you know, they're even um, riper because they've, um, they've come off the ground, off the tree, right? And they've ripened up a bit better. All right, so these are yummy. Now, yes, you'd have to gather quite a few to get a feed. But when you're hungry, in a survival situation, okay, um, you want to be able to eat, feed, feed, feed the body, okay? You feed the body, you feed the mind, and um, you you stay alert and you stay um, stay happy, right? So that's the main thing, okay? 
So anyway, I'll just um, shoot the camera around and see if we can, um, I can spot, um, oh man, there's a couple up there just sort of um, calling my name as well. There's a couple of real beautiful ones. I sort of, once you start spotting them, you, um, you just want to just keep uh, picking at them, you know? Look at that. That's just, they just look awesome, don't they? You know? But anyway, I'll leave those ones. Leave them for the birds. Anyway, let's see if I can um, <clears throat> shoot around here and spot a... There we have a... Um, an emu tree, okay? And, um, although I'm not doing rimu today, I think what we'll do is we'll just go for a quick walk over there. Alright, and I'll get a shot of the, um, the leaves because they are so similar to, um, kahakatea that I think it's, 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 it's well worthwhile, um, comparing the two for people. Okay, so you can see here where these leaves they just droop down. Okay, this is a rimu, rimu tree. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, they, they, they droop. What more can I say? They, they just droop down the whole the whole tree. So the, the leaves themselves are very similar. Where, alright, here's them there. Okay, so there's the leaves, but as you can see, they droop down. All right, and when you look at the whole tree, the whole thing just droops. All right. Um, whereas kahakatea, okay, it, it doesn't it doesn't droop. All right, Let's come across here. So there, there is a kahakatea there. That big one right in front of us, the big the big middle one here. That's a kahakatea. Okay. And um, they sort of go up to a more of a pointed point as well. Alright, like that. And then there's another one just beside it here. Okay. So the good thing about the and then over there, that one there, that's drooping down. You can see that. That one there is a rimu. I'll bring it back a bit. And I'll see if I can... There's that kahakatea. I'll put it on the stand so it's a little bit closer. Can zoom in a bit better. So there's our kahakatea. Try not to move the camera around too much so it's shaking. There's our kahakatea. You can see the difference. Okay. I'll come out and we'll zoom in. We'll see if we can find that. Um, uh, there it is over there. And there is our Rimu. Okay, your Rimu tree. Alright, so you can see the difference. One droops down like it's crying, like the leaves are crying, and the other one is flourishing. Uh, with the with the, the the leaves are normally pointing upwards, okay, and um, you'll also sometimes um, uh, I find that uh, uh, rimu is like a darker green, okay, whereas kahakatea is a, a, a more of a lighter green, okay, um, and once you once you can pick up between the two, you'll spot them a mile away, okay, and then if you're looking for food, bang, you're straight over there, looking beneath the tree first. Okay, if you can find berries on the ground, bang, you don't have to climb, you don't have to do anything, okay, saving energy. Um, and, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're good for food, right, so that's what it's all about. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that um, with the uh, kahakatea. Um, my uh, stand's on a bit of an angle, but hey, there you go. How's that? All right. Um, 
hope you enjoyed Kahakatea. It's a uh, good, good sized tree. It's one of our tallest trees in the country, actually. Uh, I think it goes up to about 50 metres, 50 metres tall. Um, and the tree trunk is sort of uh, uh, about one, one to 1 1.5 metres wide. And it, 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 at the bottom of the tree, it sort of uh, stems out. Okay, it's, uh, I don't even know what you call it. Just the bottom of the trunk, the trunk comes down and then it branches out at the bottom. Um, and they all do that. Um, so that's a little bit of a telltale sign anyway. The biggest one telltale sign is the leaves just flourish up and you'll see the berries on it, okay? Um, yeah, so yeah, look around for it. It's, 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 an, it's, it's, it's not a hard tree to spot when you know it, uh, but wor worthwhile knowing it, okay, for sure. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that uh, video as well. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.